welcome to my channel Hindu Bhakta and today we shall look at as to in which direction should you place a Ganesha idol a statue for worship at your home the Ganesha idol should never face the south while meditating or conducting puja instead they should face northeast direction because Yama is also known as the god of death presides over the southerly direction. Enlightenment may be seen in the direction of the rising sun in the east, which points to the direction of the sun of the north, which is the home of the rishis. When you are paying evening devotions, such as Sandhya Vadana, are often performed in the west facing direction. However, if the altar can be constructed in any other direction listed, it is preferable to locate it in the West. According to the principles of Vastu Shastra, an idol of Lord Ganesh should be positioned in either the East or the West direction of the home. Setting up an idol of Ganesha at the North Eastern corner of the home is considered to be the most auspicious place to do so. If the North East direction cannot be reached, you should position an idol such that may worship while facing either the north or the east. Check that the face of Lord Ganesha is turned towards the south direction. Let us look at the instructions for placing Lord Ganesha idol at your home. When transporting the statue of Lord Ganesha, you need to keep your attention on the direction in which Lord Ganesha's trunk is facing. It is recommended to choose the left-sided trunk. The energy of calmness and relaxation will come to you via the Idanadi channel, which is represented by the left side of the trunk. It is tough to appease Ganesha when he has a trunk on the right side of his body, since he is known to be obstinate. Ensure that the idol of Ganesha is positioned in a sitting posture. The most appropriate statue for the home is one depicting Ganesha seated. If you wish to display an idol of Ganesha at your place of employment, the, the standing Ganesha is the best option. This invigorates and inspires us while we are working. Do not bring a Ganesha idol that does not have a crown or a mukut on it. It is regarded as very unlucky for an idol not to have a mukut, which is a kind of a crown that symbolizes originality and expansive thought. Adding a crown also known as Mukut to the statue of Ganesha, makes it even more stunning. On the day of Ganesh Chaturthi, you are only permitted to present an idol of Ganesha. Due to the fact that we do puja on this day in an effort to appease Lord Ganesha, you should steer clear of an idol that depicts Shiva, Parvati and Ganesha all in one image. Keep in mind that a piece of modak, an Indian sweet, and a mouse called a mushak should always be included in the statue of Ganesha when you put it in its proper place. Do not place or install an idol of Ganesha in a bedroom or on a wall that is next to you or close to a bathroom. According to Vashtu Sastra, this is really a bad idea. If there is a part of your house that does not adhere to the guidelines outlined in the Vashtu Sastra, you should create a swastik they are using orange sindur and cow ghee. When this is done, the potentially detrimental effects of Vashti dosa are mitigated. There is a certain amount of symbolism that is linked with the way the trunk is oriented. For instance, if the trunk is positioned to the left and either over or close to the mudak, then this is indicative of a wish or a boon bestowing. Ganesha, as the mudak, refers to one's wants and needs. A trunk turned to the right represents a decision to devote one whole life to the pursuit of Siddhi, which literally translates to perfection. In most cases, devatas are arranged in such a way that they face west. This allows us to do the puja with our backs to the east, which is considered to be the more fortunate direction. In some rare cases, there are exceptions such as temples where the sun shines through the windows illuminating the face of the Lord. In certain instances, the deity is facing east and we do puja while facing the devata, divine feminine. In addition, there is no other rule. 
so thank you for watching this video and i'll be putting up more interesting videos from my blog rama bhakta and if you like my video and if you like the information given on this video please do give it a like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much and i look forward to meet you meeting you again in my next video thank you